Hey everyone, Matthew here. Today we're going to make a board game for the visually impaired. A few months ago, Roxley Games Laboratory kickstarted a board game called Santorini, which is an abstract board game kind of like checkers or chess. There's a link down in the description if you want to find out more about Santorini. Over on the Board Game Geek website, a username Matthew was asking if this board game would be suitable for his sister who is blind. Uh, Roxley replied that in some iteration probably, but what they were kickstarting, not so much. So I reached out to Matthew and his sister and offered to redesign Santorini for them to be blind friendly. All 79 pieces for the game were printed out of PLA on my Taz 5 3D printer, which took over 108 hours of print time. If you would like to make this version of Santorini on your own, you can download all of the files over on Thingiverse. I'll put a link down in the description. Now what makes this board game blind friendly is really the design of all the individual pieces. Uh, first we have the game board, which has raised areas which signify the spaces. And then you've got the tower pieces which fit over those raised areas locking them into place. Each level of the tower is a different shape. The first level being a square, the second level being an octagon, and the third level being a cylinder. All of the levels and the board itself have holes in them, which the player pawns fit into those holes, keeping them from in their place. And the domes that block off the spaces utilize those holes as well. Each of the player pawns are an individual shape, one being a circle, one being a triangle, and the other one being a square. So I'm joined here with uh, my buddy Craig. He's a... Uh member of my gaming group and uh, he is also a reviewer for the miniature market. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, Craig, why don't you say hi? Hello everybody. There you go. And uh, Craig's going to help me play test uh, this version of Santorini and uh, since I designed this for the scene impaired, I'm going to be playing blindfolded to really test it out. So this should be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and place my first piece. Sure. There. <laughs> okay. I will put mine in the opposite, well, same line, far end, corner. Okay. And I will put my other one, one to your left of it, on that little back row, too. Right. Clear out here. By the one I had. Clear out here, that means nothing to me. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move here. That was there, right? Yep. Two there. Yep. I'll build a level two where he was. So I hopped him up there and built that level two. And I have a level three over here, just so you know. You have a level right there. Oh. That's okay. Where'd that guy go? Right where you're. Right there. And he's a level. He's on a two, so oh. that you know that could be my game-winning move right there. For a second. That next to it, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you hopped right there, yeah, you could tap it if you wanted to. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to. There you go. Tapping. There you go. Those things are rolling. <laughs> mm -hmm. They do. <laughs> Maybe. 
Yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna hop my guy down, my dude on your far left down, and then put a three on the back row next to my other guy. So put that three there by hopping down that guy there. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got you. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about that. That was difficult. <laughs> it is, that was challenging. It is very hard to uh, mentally visualize what's going on. I could really only focus on like one little area at a time. Now, this is the part of the video where I normally raffle something off. And you'd be right and wrong. I'm going to raffle something off, just not to you guys. See, I sent Matthew and his sister two copies of Santorini. One for them to enjoy, and then the other to raffle off or give away at the National Conference for the Blind in July. And before we go, I'd also like to share this picture that Karen LeBed sent me of her son wielding the sword rattle. Karen was the winner of last month's sword rattle contest. Isn't he cute? And as always, thanks for watching.